What's up, you mighty Morphin Montiversers? No, it's not an illusion. We are back again this week because we're doing Green with Evil. And Nikki, today's part two. And in part one, Power Rangers got their butts kicked. They got their butts kicked really hard. Yeah, I mean, Zordon's gone. They stuck Maroon 5 elevator music inside of Alpha via CD, burnt CD-ROM. And he's out of commission <laughs> from the cringe virus. And it's just like, what are we going to do? How are we going to stop this Green Ranger? I don't know. I want to find out. All right, so let's find out. Let's find out. All right, guys. Part two of Green with Evil starting right now. Let's go. Rita. Oh, Rita. Oh, Rita. Oh, Rita. And your mysterious sixth power coin that you've had this entire time. Yeah, it wasn't totally shoehorned in at the last minute to make sure that this plot made sense. That Zordon somehow knew about but forgot to mention. Oh, Rangers, by the way, at some point a sixth Power Ranger will show up. Yeah. Like I said before, there should have been like a precaution against that if he was really that good. Yeah, like maybe like give him like the Green Lantern weakness. Like no one can enter the command center who is green. Right. It's not like any of them wear that color. <laughs> oh! No! They put them in the credits already. I was wondering when they were, he was going to be added. All right. I, I didn't realize it was episode two. I didn't realize it was... I thought it was after. I but... mean, they might have gone back and add him, like, after the initial airing. It's so cool, though. Oh, man. Zordon. He's lightning. <laughs> Jason's like, I don't know science. I don't know technology. <laughs> Billy, get in here. <laughs> You already did. We can't get a fix on Zordon. And without Zordon, we have no clue who that green guy was that attacked us. <laughs> this place. Oh yeah, Zordon also Whoever knew it was Tommy. Knew exactly mm. what to do. They totally trashed it. They knew and exactly. They the virus. I love how it's like they knew exactly what to do. We just destroy everything. <laughs> you making any progress, Billy? I'm doing the best I can, but I'm unfamiliar with the circuitry. Try the I wish Billy would have snapped bang and said, I don't know, Jason, make any progress pulling wires. Even if we get him working again, there's no telling what shape his memory will be in. Man, I hope these LED lights of Alpha. <laughs> Yo, Trini's got the sick hat on right now. We still have to find a way to get Zordon back. And figure out the story with that Green Ranger dude. I wish like Austin would have put a little more anger into it. I was gonna say he's he sounds concerned, but also more annoyed than anything else. He needs to crank it up a little bit because he is the leader of the Power Rangers, and they did just get smacked hard. Yeah. And leaders are supposed to be hot-headed. I think the writer, I think just, the writers just didn't know what to do. Remember that guy? The Nasty Knight. Or the was that the Black Knight? No, Nasty Knight. That was it. From Zack's uh, Happy Birthday, Zack. Yay, continuity. Yep. Zordon knows... Apparently Zordon knows everything. He just doesn't say anything. Right. And evil Tommy is a sub. My Empress. Yeah. <laughs> My Empress. I kind of want that hoodie he's wearing. Like that's a sick. It is. I like the pattern on it. Look at how cheap the power coin, the American power coins were back in the day. Oh, those effects right there. I love that Bulk just wears, like, a, a fighter pilot's leather uh, helmet. Do they think this is going to end any differently? It makes no sense. Why would they confront him in private? Yeah. Like, now would be the time where it would be okay for them to cower. <laughs> Whoa, 
Oh. Damn it, this dude's eyes are oh, weird. No. Whoa, oh, <laughs> oh, sh oh. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He zapped the bombs of their shoes and that made them go into the dumpster? This might be the most specific power that I've ever seen. It it shot he shot lightning at their feet that levitated them inside of a dumpster. Man, Tommy's a badass. Don't mess with Tommy, bro. He really is. Yeah, Jason. Come on, Jason, get as badass as <laughs> Look, Tommy. Zach is. looks so miserable. Zach's like, damn, I've been doing this for seven hours. That's what I wanted. Yo, man, line up. He wears a costume like ours. Uniform. But so I never mentioned anything about a green ranger. Yeah, you think... That's true. You think he's the one that totaled the command center? It's too much of a coincidence. <laughs> I mean, he shows up, and then Zordon suddenly is. Maybe the guy's working for Rita. Maybe. All I know for sure is that I'd like to get my hands on this guy. <laughs> okay, Zach, Zach, we know why you're not the leader now. <laughs> we now know why you are not the leader. You think you think he's working for Rita? No. Oh, like, oh, maybe. maybe. Negative. These cables and wires have been Billy. Burned. Billy is just doing <laughs> all that all the work this episode. I was gonna say, and everyone else got to just go home. We'll have to be replaced before we can do anything. If we can get the main generator online again, I can proceed with locating Zordon. And we can repair our communicators. Can you do it, Billy? Affirmative. It's just gonna take time. Damn, time. Billy is grinding. Love Billy. I mean, in all of their defense, it is 10,000-year-old alien technology. All right. His, he looks amazing again today. He, they give JDF the best fits right now. Look at this mesh. Look at this 90s out. Like, it's... Look, look, look what is he wearing? I love it. I do, so too. To you, um, the other day after school, I thought we were going to meet. Something came up. Oh. You know, I just got kind of worried. Hey. I'm a big boy, Kimberly. I don't need you to worry about me. Because oh. you're totally acting like... Like what? Like you're upset with me? Has it ever occurred to you that I might have other things on my mind? Newsflash, Kimberly. You are not the center of everyone's universe. Oh! oh sick burn! Whoa! That conversation got real! <laughs> oh, man! Oh, no! They they already have the best interactions that I feel like have been on the show. Yo, they're killing it. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I exist. Whoa. I do love how she... Now I know where the that gift comes from, though. Yeah. That was that was good. Like, because that... Even if he wasn't evil, that felt like a high school conversation. They're, they're fantastic. Your evil spell will control his every move forever. They're going for a nice walk. Wait, is this a... Oh, no, it's not. Why on a beach, though? That's... I don't know. I can't stop being amazed at his shirt. Oh, that's true. We need yeah. that shirt to come back into fashion. That's very specific. They just moved him to a different part of the <laughs> beach. Man. I just love that. He just snapped into fighting position. JDF does such an amazing job in this role of br bringing his physicality and his experience as a martial artist oh to God, the character yeah. of Tommy. Absolutely. Like... I love I love that as soon as the putty showed up, snap into fighting pose. Like mm -hmm. he it shows you Tommy don't mess around. Right. Tommy's not wasting time. And now there's like twenty putties there, and he's just unmorphed, kicking all their asses. <laughs> Meanwhile, as of last episode, like even Jason struggled to fight unmorphed putties. Oh yeah. Oh, he's like, I punched you with this fist. Sick, sick. Hid that trampoline so well. Oh, he black widowed them! <laughs> he gave him the old scissor. Scissor throw. 
So good. So good. Welcome to the club, Bucko. Welcome to the club. Man, that rubber sword. I know, right? And that effect that they used to transport it. I love the 90s, like, teleportation effects. will be destroyed. And the Red Ranger will be the first to go. That's smart. He's like Thor. He just controls green lightning. at the command center. Well... They haven't fixed the communicators yet. They're still down. Or like Billy and Trini. Heavy lifting. <laughs> How long has it been that, like, they've changed clothes and the other two are still at the command yeah. center? Jason has changed clothes three times. This is his third outfit. Hey, yo, Tommy. Listen, I know I said I'd work out with you later, but something came up. You know, sort of an emergency. Wait, when did that come up? Hold on, hold on. Just gotta... Sure. I understand. Cool. I'll catch you later. Jason. Was that was that after? Oh no! I love the way he. Down, he's so he's having so much fun right now. Oh, this is the first time we see Rita's pocket dimension. What happened? This is the first time. This is Rita's pocket dimension. Oh, okay. Man, what a great set. <laughs> I, I, uh, this is awesome. I know, and this, like, they use, they couldn't use footage. They actually had to make it. What a great strategy. I don't know. Like, Rita is actually like not be being, doing something. Stupid? Or make, no, smart. Oh, yeah, no, she, she's not Jason, being stupid. Alpha, anybody, come in. Anybody. Oh no! You must face me all alone. Oh no! <laughs> Looking for this. <laughs> Man, Goldar got quick hands. Command center, come in. It's Jason. I have an emergency situation. I told you it wouldn't work, but your power morpher might. <laughs> if you can get it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> come on, Jace. Jason, he should be here by now. We can't afford to wait on him. I just don't feel right leaving him. Don't worry. Jason can take care of himself. <laughs> Come on, we better get to the command center. I I'll mean, you say that now. <laughs> like, they should know that Jason is the most responsible of them all. Yeah. Buckle up. The rad bug. It can teleport? Wow, it just disappeared. And now I, it's in the it air. already happened the last episode. It felt like it just teleported into the command center. Oh, come on, girl, cheer up. <laughs> Billy and Alpha will find a way to get Zordon back. It's not just that. It's it's Tommy. Oh. <laughs> I don't care about every. <laughs> I don't care about our mentor. Yeah, well, we got bigger problems to worry about now. Ish. Hold on, we're That's now. the hard truth. That. <laughs> As a former teenage girl, it can be hard to swallow. Kim is just like, man, but that boy was really mean to me today. Yeah. Any progress reaching Zordon? Billy's almost got the main computer backed up. Our 10,000 year old wizard mentor might be dead, but that boy was really mean to me today. <laughs> Something's happening. Whoa. Said green guy. Man, I hated the first version of the shield. The American version. Mm -hmm. They got like the cheapest material possible to make it. Sounds about accurate. Yeah. Let's morph and get this green dude. But we need Jason. Jason. Jason, come in. Do you read me, Jason? Man, these things still aren't working. Be? Damn, Billy! Hurry up! <laughs> I love how Jason's just like, let me try, I'll try this strat. <laughs> Give it to me now! Oh, damn. Oh, I almost broke the set. Oh, yeah! 
<laughs> yes! Awesome! Kick him in the face. Kick him in the, in the, in the butt. Whoa, that's slow-mo. Weird. <laughs> like tossing some meat to a hungry lion. <laughs> now remember, Alpha. Try to Weird. contact Jason and have a meet us at the bluff. You got it, Rangers. The bluff. <laughs> right then. What, what is a bluff? <laughs> Someone in the comments, let me know what a bluff. Let me know what a bluff is. <laughs> in this context, yes. Is it just a beach? Is it just like a waterfront? Whoa, the beach looks totally different now. <laughs> it looks like Japanese islands. Oof. We couldn't beat him with a dagger. Now we're now we're now we have to fight him with the giant sword. Yeah. yeah he's Thor. He's got lightning power. Green surprise. Oh, Zach! Pulling a sick move. Hey, it's a good one to make. It's about time. Yeah, run him over. <laughs> run him over with the Triceratops. <laughs> Yeah, run him over with all the Zords. Just, <laughs> just run him over with everything. Have we seen any of them like use them without forming together yet? Yeah, saw, once or twice because we saw the horns come out of the Triceratops, oh, with, like okay. the chains, and we can do this, guys. we've definitely seen the Tyrannosaurus by himself. Mm. All right, let's keep it now Billy's the only one he said his name. It's really confusing. Tank mode. Wait, no one called the Tyrannosaurus. I was gonna say, like, how are they do doing it? They can't do that. They ch they're changing the rules. I mean, I guess it could answer to any of them, but it's just weird that like we didn't see it come from no, anywhere. No, that's not how this works. Also, that's it's not like how this works, Power Rangers. They also could have just, like, shown the stock footage of it rising up. That's all they had to do. I feel cheated. Yeah. For as good- Oh, this- I think that's the first time we saw the Mastodon uses the shield. <laughs> yeah. He's like, damn it! I oh, don't no. have a Zord yet. Oh no, there was no stock footage of just the four of them inside. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. We still got him. Goldar. The fact that Goldar is like not actively trying to fight him is really dumb. Oh, he's actually going to fight him now? Yeah. I hope that full sword doesn't hurt Jason. Man, this is intense. <laughs> A little bit. There's never, like, it just feels like they never get a break. No. That green guy was a lot stronger this time. That green guy who looks just he? like us. I've been able to locate Jason anywhere. Well, yeah, considering they kicked his butt and they immediately ca called for the Zords. He had the Sword of Darkness. Okay, that's fair. I am in the unit protector of Felis. You almost got him, Alpha. Hold on, Zordon. You must. Oh, what happened to Shreedy's hat? Ay, ay, ay. I lost him. Oh, no. Zordon, we need you. Man, you know it's bad when Shreedy's desperate. Man, if only I was just, wasn't holding this right in front of your face. Oh, Oof, 
Good move. Ooh! That was close. Whoa, that blade looks so realistic. Like, it's gonna chop his hand off. Oh, no. Kick him in the nuts. I mean, in the gold parts. No! You can't leave it there! That's Jason! Whatever is going to happen to him. That's intense. It is, yeah. That, whoa. This episode just ramped it up. Like, yeah, the first episode was fun, but like... The, the interaction with Tommy and Kimberly, mm. super intense. Yes. The interact, like, Jason and fighting Goldar alone, unmorphed, with if, no morpher. Even though intense. Goldar is not doing a very good job. No, Goldar's an idiot, though. But still. <laughs> still, like, intense. The, the other rangers kind of floundering without... Mm. Z now, first without Zordon, no. and now Jason, like, the two, like, mentor leader figures of the team gone. Yeah. To be fair, Billy is doing what Billy does, Billy's though. Billy's doing it. Billy and Trini fixed the command center. Fixed. I don't want to say just Billy, because Trini helped. That is true. They were the only ones there actively working this whole time, where, yeah. well, the other three had enough time to go I, back to you school. You know what I think this episode did really well that none of the other episodes before that did? Mm. I think it gave a... It showed... And I don't know if this is intentional, the writers or the actors just kind of stepped up and added this to themselves, but it added layers to Zack and Jason, I think. Oh, yeah, a lot more than we've seen before. Because I think with, we'll get to Jason, but I think with Zack especially, what you're seeing now is when everyone's down and when everyone feels kind of hopeless and, mm -hmm. and, and panicked, Zack is the optimist. Zack is like, guys, everything will be fine. We're the parent. Like, we're going to get through this. He's, yes, I, I agree with that. But what's interesting, he's like the optimist, but he's also kind of the realist when yeah. he tried to tell Kim to snap out of her funk with Tommy. He's like, hey, we also have more important yeah, things. Yeah, it's like, hey, we have this going on. And he's just, he's just being a good friend. Like he is, mm -hmm. he's the glue. Like he's holding everyone together. He stepped up as leader without Jason there. He, mm -hmm. he called the shots. He was like, listen, we can't wait. This has to be addressed now. So I think we're getting a lot of, a lot more development from Zach, which I really, really like because right. we had happy birthday, Zach. But listen, I know Walter Jones is good and I yeah. want to see more of this stuff. I want to see more of this. Austin St. John really impressed me this episode. Mm -hmm. um, there was that one moment where he played a little soft in the beginning, but then that scene in the juice bar, perfect. Like when they're when they're hit, when they're hitting the bag and he's angry, mm -hmm. he's frustrated. He's the leader of the freaking Power Rangers. Again, they're butts hit. He can't do anything. Mm -hmm. He's not Billy. He can't. And he feels... Like, oh my god, there's nothing I can do right now. Right. But wait. And it's eating him alive. So all mm -hmm. he can do is just hit the bag and train mm -hmm. and work out with Tommy and like do all these things to just like keep himself active and moving or else that that pressure will get to him. So mm -hmm. that was really cool. It was cool. No, and I think like you said, because we talked about before in terms of the amount of focus and development a lot of the characters have gotten to where we like Jason felt like he was missing the most the, and yeah now, by far so i think giving this to him honestly especially kind of setting up the dynamic between him and tommy yeah whether or not he knows it's tommy yet is very interesting yeah and they're t they're two essentially very skilled martial artists they're two alpha i don't want to say alpha males but they're two alpha like they're, they're two alpha beings right we'll they're, say. they're like they have like the leadership quality yeah like they're, the assertiveness they're both alpha personalities we should mm -hmm. say you know and they're and those, and those personalities we know conflict. And I think that that, that conflict is going to be very interesting to play out. Tommy knew that he had to get rid of Jason right away. Right. And when he did, the Rangers struggled a little bit. They were a little unsure of themselves. They didn't know what to do without Jason. They didn't know what the right move to make was. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, all in all, another another banger episode for Green with Evil, man. Oh, Tommy, yeah. Tommy's so good. J, I, JDF has not missed once. No, not at all. And, like, it's so funny because... Watching that training scene, um, when um Rita unleashed putties on him again, there was a part oh, no, of me. No, that's that was the trial to earn the sword of darkness. Right. There was a part of me that was thinking at first, like this feels a little repetitive, just because okay, we basically saw what he did last episode, but at the same time, because JDF is so great, and watching him just kind of like go all out, it's like I'm still enjoying it. Like to, and that made me feel like you know what? I enjoy this anyway. I'll tell you why it's not repetitive because he's so dang good, and mm -hmm. and I like you. You can't help but be impressed with this with this guy because he this is his first time in the series. You mm -hmm. just showed up. He's the new guy. First episode, he when he fought the putties, and and this is and not only is he a good actor, but he's a good martial artist because he told a story with his fighting. Mm -hmm. The first episode, he was fighting defensively, right? Like he was kicking their butts, but he was 
Like, oh man. Uh, he, had th- to, he had to use a shield. In this episode, <laughs> he fought aggressively. Right. And he was having fun kicking their butts. Like he was doing, like he was being flashy. Mm-hmm. He, like he did the, the the jump scissor kick, scissor throw kick. Yeah. Like he was having a blast. And he was like, I'm going to wreck all of you, no problem. And then after he's like, my empress. I was going to say, and part of that could have been partly a result of Rita's own influence on him. Yeah. So I think it does, illust- like you said, it illustrates the change in him. Yeah. And and, it, and again, I have to applaud JDF because he, cause he told such a, one, like he told, and this is Power Rangers, so you always have to be impressed when actors can do this. Like he told such an amazing story physically mm-hmm. through his choreography, through his fight choreography, um, and through the way that he moved. And even like that, like, like little things like that, like we talked about already, like when he snapped into fighting position instantaneously <laughs> without hesitation, mm-hmm. like... So, so good. And we're only on episode two. I know. And there's more to come. And we have a cliffhanger. I know. Gee, I wonder. Like I said, I wonder what's going to happen. I I wonder. I have no idea. I guess you guys will have to like, comment, and subscribe to find out what happens in part three of Green with Evil. So... You should do all those things. And also hit the notification bell. Because you want to know... You want to know when the next episode comes up, right? Totally, dude. That, right? that makes the most sense. Yeah, that would be pretty more phenomenal of you guys. So, until next time, stay first.